The, the great thing about our script is that actually the strongest characters in it are the women. The women, the ladies are the ones that really, when you first look at my movie, you think it's about the men, but you realize that it's really about the ladies. Frank Martinez Arians beroemde Curaçaose roman Dubbelspel over liefde en bedrog op het eiland werd verfilmd door Amerikaan Ernest Dickerson, die in Rotterdam was voor de wereldpremière, net als koning Willem Alexander. Het is amazing how the project came to me, because uh, The Christmas before I got the screenplay, my wife and I were in Curacao for Christmas and New Year's, uh, just having a holiday. And I said to my wife, you know, I was taking a lot of photographs of the island. And I said to my wife, because uh, I would love to shoot another movie here, but I don't know how this ever going to happen. Because I photographed two movies in Curacao for the filmmaker Felix Duroy. Ah, in the uh, 80s, right? Yeah, 90s, the first 80s. one in 85 and the other one in 89. Almacita de Desolato and Ava and Gabriel. And that's really how I got to know the island, by spending so much time there shooting those two films and going back from time to time on vacation. And I said to my wife, I'd love to make another movie here, but I didn't think that would ever happen. And then three months later, I was sent the script to uh, double play. By whom? It was sent to me by Lisa Cortez, who's the producer of the film, one of the producers of the film. Uh, she was going to make the movie. She was looking for a filmmaker that she thought would fall in love with the material. And, and she, she knew about you and Curtis Howard? Uh, I'm not sure how much she did know. She sent it to my manager, and my manager sent it to me. And uh, when I got on the phone with her, I told her that I knew the island, that I had a lot of friends on the island, that I had resources on the island, um, that I knew these guys in the book, these domino players. Every Sunday afternoon, my father played dominoes with his friends. The way they played dominoes was a reflection of the way they lived their lives. Chamong was a cautious man. Being a foreigner, that wasn't a bad idea. Manchi considered the game to be beneath him. He wished he could play bridge, like the Macambas. Ernesto was the strategist, smarter than the others, and always one step ahead of them. My father played for fun, because it was the only game he knew well enough to win. The game! Awesome. Papa is king! Dominoes is like any game, like chess or whatever. It's always difficult to shoot sort of dramatically. Or mm -hmm. How did you solve that problem? I approached it like a duel. I approached it, uh, actually, I got my inspiration from one of my favorite filmmakers, Sergio Leone, his westerns. Uh, because to me, what's interesting is what's happening on the table, but also what's going on with each of the guys, each of the characters. Um, that's why I have a round table. Dominoes yeah. is normally played in a square table, but I wanted a round table because see. it's life. It is like life. And, um, and if you look at Sergio Leone's Westerns, his duels are always played in a circular arena, which is like life. You know, that's where it comes down to it, you know, life or death. Solema, considered the most beautiful woman on the island. She believed in Curaçao, its people, and the struggle to develop a uniquely Curaçaoanian vision. She thought she found that in Manchi, but she soon discovered his dogged stubbornness reflected his ignorance, not idealism. Curaçao, it has its own look. I wanted the island to be a character in the film. How would you describe the personality? It's a study in contrasts. It's, uh, it's a harsh environment because if you look at the vegetation, 
that, that grows in Curacao, a lot of it is thorny, a lot of it is rough, it's strong vegetation, you know. So for a lot of uh, the natural forces there, it's, it's, it's a struggle. And I think that also reflects in the lives of, of the people, the lives of our characters. You know, they're each struggling in, in one way or another. And um, my wife was talking about when she, um, she bought some spinach that was grown on the island. And it's different than the spinach in America. The spinach in America is kind of light, but the spinach grown on the island was tough. You know, very tough. And you shot there, was that, was that a tough shoot as well? Actually, it was very problem-free. And I honestly think, I, I never had a chance to meet Mr. Arion. He passed away yeah. two days before we went down to start shooting the film. Two days before we started pre-production. And, uh, and I knew I was going to meet him. I didn't get, a, didn't get a chance to. But I, I feel he was watching over us. I really do, because uh, everything went very, very smooth.